Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I just wanted to film this really quick intro to the video that you are about to watch, which if you have read in the description, is my second annual before and after garden tour. Um, I had a lot of fun filming this last year, and it's just what my backyard looked like before uh, doing my spring planting and then after I was finished with my project. Um, so I just like sharing this with you guys. Um, gardening is a passion of mine, very much like talking about makeup on here with you all and horseback riding is just something that brings me a lot of joy and a lot of peace to be able to go out into the yard and relax in a space I've created and brings a little more nature in. So um, <clears throat> I will link last year's video Last year, I treated this kind of as a tag. A couple people did do it, and it was really exciting to see that. Um, I'm not going to treat it as a tag this year, only because I feel that I'm a little bit behind the times as far as getting this up and ready because I was so sick for a couple weeks that it put me behind schedule. Um, so I'm not doing it as a tag, but... If you see this and it's something that you would really like to do, by all means, go ahead and do it. Um, if you have a YouTube video a channel to share it on, uh, certainly do. And if you don't, and if you want to just do a video response or send a picture to me, I love that stuff. I love sharing that. So um, three things before I go ahead and show you the before and after footage. Um, number one, I don't know if you are aware of this and have watched some previous videos, but my husband and I spent some time at Walt Disney World um, this past November for our wedding anniversary, and we had a ton of fun hanging out at the parks, of course, um, but something that I found to be very enjoyable was checking out some of the landscaping that um, Walt Disney World does in their parks and gardens. It was really neat. So I knew that when we came back and it was time to plant for spring, I wanted to bring some Disney inspiration to the backyard. So there is a little bit of a theme going on back there this year. Um, I'm not going to tell you all about it here. I'll wait to show you on the after video, but I hope you enjoy that. Um, number two is the before video, you are going to see a very old Christmas tree. And the reason for that is because this is the first year that we decided to kind of recycle our Christmas tree, which means when you're done having the tree in your house for the holidays, Rather than throwing it out, putting it on the curb, you take off the ornaments, the decorations, the lights, so it's a completely naked Christmas tree. And you put it in your outdoor space. And the birds actually use that as kind of a second shelter, if you will, because there are so many trees in our neighborhood, um, and I'm sure in many others, that lose their leaves for the winter time. So this just gives the birds you know, a little bit of additional shelter to pick. And we did have uh, some birds kind of flitting back and forth through our backyard, which was really nice to watch. Um, that's number two. So number three is, if you watch last year's video, you will know that my husband spent quite a bit of time putting some new sod down to give us some grass in the backyard. And it looked great but it did not make it through the winter. We had a very harsh winter this year, this past year, and uh, the grass didn't make it. And we have decided to not um, replant the grass this year. So if you watch last year's video and you see new grass and you watch this year's video and you're going, what happened to that? It didn't make it. Um, we don't have the best soil back there. And to tell you the honest truth, we have two medium-sized dogs. The backyard is where they play, and it's where they go to do what dogs do on grass, and grass doesn't really care for that, no matter how quickly you clean it up. So it just didn't stick around. So that is the reason why there's quite a few bear patches back there, but um, yeah, I think that's about it. So uh, definitely if you have any questions about planting in your area or you know any questions about my garden in particular, please feel free to leave comments down below. And I hope you enjoyed this. On with the show. Okay guys, so hopefully you can hear me over the sound of our air conditioner. But I just wanted to quickly scan and show you a fast before. Uh, before I start my gardening project out here for 2014. Um, so I have some lights hanging up that were up here last year. Yes, that is our little tree. And we did keep it um, so that the birds had some shelter back there. 
Um, I know that some people can actually make some bird friendly ornaments um, like popcorn balls and uh, bird seed little ornaments and birds can really enjoy those. We didn't do that um, this year but we did notice that a couple little birds had made a shelter in that tree but um, they've moved on and the tree needs to move on too. So we've got some hanging baskets here, we've got some empty pots there, and some hanging baskets here that I need to get rid of the old stuff and in with the new. And here is a little sneak peek of some of the new stuff that's going to be going in. So, all right, this is the before and we will head on out to the after. Okay, and this is one week later, so here is the overview of the garden. Now I have to tell you guys that we have added a couple of things this year. Um, any of you who have watched my channel for a little while know that my husband and I went to Walt Disney World um, for our anniversary. And we had such a great time and we wanted to see what else we could do Disney-wise once we got home, so I actually made our little backyard garden themed after the Enchanted Tiki Room. So these guys, I got the little tiki guys and the bird actually from Kmart of all places, I couldn't believe it. And all of the little tiki statues that I'm going to show you are solar lights. So these guys actually light up, their little faces light up and they have kind of this candle flickering light and uh, they look really, really cool at night. In fact, I'm gonna try and grab some footage for you guys in the evening because I know these guys definitely got a good power up of sunlight today. So these are the flowers that I picked. I think I discussed last year how important it is to figure out where you are planting your flowers. Here are some really, really cool petunias I found. These guys are called phantoms, aren't they neat? So that's our little hanging basket this, this year. Um, but it's just important to figure out what you want to plant where because all of these flowers are going to do just fine in partial shade or complete shade because we are obviously right underneath my second deck. So they don't get a ton of sunlight. So to go along with the Tiki Room, we also purchased a hanging parrot decoration. This guy is so cool. Let's see if I can get a good shot of him. There he is. He actually came from eBay. If you want to do something like this, just go ahead and search hanging parrot decorations. He was really neat. The box was huge that he came in when he was shipped. But just some new flowers here. Some of these are a little bit new for me this year. There's another little smiling tiki guy who's a solar light. He's going to light up a little bit later. This guy always impresses me. He makes it through every winter that we've been through this year. So it's nice to have him come back to us. I always keep um, a gardening can right outside where the rain can get it and that way I can give rain water to my flowers. And just some really pretty tropical inspired plants. And these are really special this year. I wanted to try some hellbores. I think I'm saying that right. I'm not sure. Um, but these are really cool flowers. These, these brownish greenish pieces are the actual flowers and I thought that was really neat. And then over here, we have another tiki guy. He's gonna light up too. And our little Mickey uh, stepping stone. The Mickey stepping stone actually came from Walgreens in their gardening section. And some nice uh, hostas here. This guy's actually a little creeper. He could be put down and um, be walked on, but I thought he was pretty enough to put in a little planter. And then here we have Tink. And Tink is a nice little lantern that was also from Kmart. The hummingbird hanger is actually something that I purchased quite a few years ago at the Schomburg Prairie Center Art Fair, along with my little fern bird bath. You guys have seen this last year. Our wisteria bush is growing. It's going to flower pretty soon. So I think that's about it. Um, I am definitely going to be adding a couple more bits to this backyard. Um, we do have a little family vacation to go on this year. Um, so, you know, once that's done, we'll be adding a couple things here and there. But I just wanted to give a little overview of our after. Hope you guys liked it. 
And I will certainly try to go ahead and get a couple shots of the garden at night so you can see the little tiki guys lit up because it's pretty fun. All right, talk to you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed. Okay guys, so here we are at night. Here's a little tiki guy here. These guys are so cute. And the little smiling guy here. Come on camera, focus, there we go. Yeah, they're really cute. And then over here, we have this little guy glowing. And then there's Tink. Let me see if I can get a little closer. There she is. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.